Hello to everyone. How are you? Hope you all are all doing good and willing to learn something more about integers. Today, I am going to show some more rules for addition and subtraction of integers. Before we go into the rules, just a small recap about integers. Now, what are integers? Integers are the set of whole numbers including negative numbers. Now, here is the first rule of addition of integers. When two positive integers are added, the sum is a positive integer. Example, plus 3 plus plus 2 is equal to plus 5. Now, the second rule, when two negative integers are added, the sum will be a negative integer. Example, minus 3 plus of minus 2 is equal to minus 5. Now the third rule. When a positive integer and a negative integer are added, we subtract and put the sign of the greater number. Example, plus 3 plus of minus 2 is equal to plus 1. Here, the positive number is greater than the negative number. So, we put the sign of the positive number. Now, what is the fourth rule? When a negative integer and a positive integer are added, we subtract and put the sign of the greater number. Example, minus 3 plus of plus 2 is equal to minus 1. Here, you see the negative number is greater than the positive integer. So, we are going to put the sign of the negative number. Today, we are going to learn something more about integers. We are going to talk about the additive inverse of an integer. Now, what is an additive inverse of an integer? It is an integer with a negative sign or we call it the opposite sign. That means if it is a positive integer, then the negative integer will be the additive inverse. For example, the additive inverse of any integer a is minus a and additive inverse of minus a is a. Example, if we take a positive integer 3, then minus 3 will be the additive inverse of 3. Now, when we are going to add plus 3 with the additive inverse of itself, then we get 0. Here, 0 is called the additive identity of integers. Now, the second example is the additive inverse of minus 5 is 5 and the additive inverse of 5 is minus 5. So, now when we subtract two integers, we add the negative inverse of the integer that is being subtracted to the other integer. For example, when we take two numbers 56 and 73, here 56 is a positive integer and 73 is also a positive integer and we are subtracting these two numbers. So, what we do? 56, we add the additive inverse of 73. That means we get 56 plus of minus 73 that is equal to minus 17. The second example, 56 minus of minus 73 is equal to 56 plus the additive inverse of minus 73. Here, since the additive inverse of minus 73 is 73, we are adding these two integers. We get 129. The third example is minus 79 minus of 45. Here, seven, minus 79 is a negative integer and 45 is a positive integer. So, when we, we have to take the additive inverse of 45 and that is minus 45. So, when we add two negative integers, we get a negative integer. So, we get minus 124. The fourth example is minus 100 minus of minus 172. 
that means here we are taking two negative integers and here minus 100 plus 172 since the additive inverse of minus 172 is 172 we get 72 which is a positive integer here minus 100 is a negative integer 172 is a positive integer so 172 is greater than minus 100 so we get a positive integer now a small note for you all for any two integers a and b a minus b is equal to a plus additive inverse of b is equal to a plus of minus b and a minus of minus b is equal to a plus additive inverse of minus b is equal to a plus b. Hmm. Now, to test your knowledge, I am going to give a, a small exercise for you all. Children, please do the following exercise in a notebook made from the remaining pages of the previous class notebook. The first question is, we have to write the given integers in the ascending order. I hope, children, all of you all know what is the meaning of ascending order. It is the smallest from smallest to biggest. Then after doing that, we have to find the smallest and the largest integers from the above set of integers. The second question is, find the additive inverse of the following numbers. For example, the additive inverse of minus 34 is 34. The third question is, we have to find a pattern and complete the fill-up for the given numbers. The fourth question is, we have to add the following. That is 56 minus 73 is equal to dash B minus 56 minus of minus 73 is equal to dash. The Now, a small quote for integers. Children, I hope you will enjoy this quote made by Alfred and Albert Einstein. The series of integers is obviously an invention of the human mind, a self-created tool which simplifies the ordering of certain sensory experiences. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.